Hi, I'm Natalie Paoli, Scholarship Coordinator at Mountain Community College. Here with some tips to help you with the essay portion of your MHCC scholarship application. There are four essay questions on the application, and each response is limited to 200 words maximum, or about one to two paragraphs. The first question asks, what are your specific education plans and career goals and why? What inspires you to achieve them? This is your opportunity to introduce yourself to the scholarship reviewers and share your story about why you're in college. Is there a specific experience or a person in your life who inspired you to choose this career path? Be specific and clear about your goals and your plan for how to get there. Now, what if you're not sure exactly what you want your career to be? Well, that's okay. Community college is a great place for career exploration and it's completely natural not to have every little detail figured out at this stage. However, for the sake of this essay, you may want to consider choosing one goal and writing as if you're 100% sure. Your essay will be stronger if you can convey your enthusiasm for a specific goal, and it's perfectly all right if you change your mind down the road. The second question asks, what have you done for your family or community that you care about the most and why? This question is about service. Think about a time that you've given back whether that's through a formal volunteer experience with a nonprofit or community organization, or it can be something that you've done to give back to your family. What about this experience was meaningful to you and what impact did it have on the individual or the community you were serving? If you choose to write about a formal volunteer experience, focus on one experience or a few related experiences around the same cause. You want this to be a narrative about what your service means to you not a resume of all your volunteer experience. If you choose to write about something you did for your family, try to choose something that goes above and beyond what is normally expected. What is something unique you've done for your family? Remember, you wanna stand out among the other applicants. If you have any volunteer experience that's related to your chosen career path, this can be a great opportunity to reinforce the story that you started with your first essay. It's good to keep in mind that reviewers will be reading your essays one after the other, almost as if it's one longer essay. The third question is, describe a personal accomplishment and the strengths and skills you use to achieve it. Think of an accomplishment that you're proud of. What are your unique abilities and characteristics that made this accomplishment possible? Be sure to choose a topic that allows you to highlight your strengths and skills. A lot of people have a hard time getting started with this question. If you're feeling stuck, you might try asking a close friend or family member how they would answer this question for you. They may be able to spark an idea by pointing out an accomplishment that wasn't obvious to you. The final question asks, describe a significant change or experience that has occurred in your life. How did you respond and what did you learn about yourself? There are any number of topics you can choose to write about for this essay. It could be about moving, maybe starting at a new school, or moving to the U.S. from another country, or learning a new language. Maybe it's a major change in your family, the birth of your first child, or a divorce in the family. Some applicants write about overcoming an illness or injury, or losing a loved one. And some write about an aha moment that made them realize what they wanted to do for their career. Whatever you choose to write about, be sure to spend time on the second part of that question. What did you learn about yourself? How have you grown as a person because of this experience? Did this make you stronger, more resilient, more confident in your abilities? Did your priorities shift? Remember, each of your responses needs to be 200 words or less. So it's not a lot of writing, but it's really important that you spend time crafting thoughtful responses to each of these questions. Your essays will make up the majority of your application score, and they're the biggest factor in determining whether you win a scholarship. Because these are so important, it's a good idea to have someone review your essays before you submit them. This could be a friend or family member with strong writing skills, or you could take advantage of MHCC's Avid Learning Success Center. Our Avid tutors are experienced in helping students with their scholarship essays, and you can get help through email, Zoom, or in person during Avid's on-campus hours. For more details, visit mhcc.edu avid. I hope this video helped you feel more prepared to share your story through your scholarship essays. For more inspiration, check out the link in the description to download examples of winning essays from past scholarship recipients. And be sure to visit mhcc.edu scholarships to learn more and apply. Thanks for watching and good luck on your application.